first, you have to install on your laptop or desktop computer a free program called PSOC Creator. In order to do that, start by going to this URL. When you get here, you will see a button that says Download PSOC Creator for Windows. If you have a Windows computer, go ahead and click on this button. If you have a Mac, you will need to start by installing Windows using Boot Camp. Start by going to this URL to see the instructions about how to install Windows using Boot Camp. You can get Windows from My ASU. Go to My Apps and then search for DreamSpark. When you click on DreamSpark, it will take you to this third-party website from Microsoft where you can get Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 7. Once you have Windows installed on a partition, continue on with the installation of PSOC Creator. You will be taken to a registration page. You will have to register to Cypress in order to download the software. Go ahead and register and then log in. After you log in, you will be taken to this page where you can click to download the PSOC Creator software. Wait until it finishes downloading. Once the file is downloaded, click on it or open it from your downloads folder. Continue to follow the prompts to install the program. This will take a little while because files need to be extracted and so forth. You'll need to accept the terms of the license agreement, then wait while the program is installed. When the installation finishes, you can uncheck View Release Notes and Launch Update Manager and click on Finish. Then PSOC Creator will automatically open. Before we actually start writing code, we need to make sure that the drivers are installed for our PSOC. So the next thing you need to do is connect your PSOC to your computer. Use the mini USB cable that came with your PSOC to connect the PSOC to the USB port of your computer. When you do that, some of the LED lights on the PSOC should turn on and stay on, and the drivers should automatically install on your computer.